So here is a cable extension. Um, it's a headphone extension cable and it didn't even work right out of the package. It was this end here, if you just touched it like this, like just move the cord a little bit, it would crackle and also the volume lowered as opposed to just using the headphones normally. So, since it didn't work and it was junky, I took it apart. And you can see here, that's the uh, black plastic stuff and the glue that was all around the, uh, the solder points and stuff. Like here's the female barrel section, and here's the male part you plug in. And you can see I've soldered on my own wires. And here's the old cable. Um, it's stranded stranded wire and you probably can't see it but the the red and the white it's so thin it's just so thin and it's stranded in the red and the white as well so it's not surprising that they have a cold solder or a poor solder and uh, you know this cable just wasn't good at all and so I took it apart and uh, again I set I um, I hooked these on and then uh, with the multimeter I tested the continuity. And let me hook that up real quick here. So the cool part is, is there's like three different sections for a uh, headphone cable. There's uh, the right and left channel and then the microphone. So you can put your, let's see, I don't remember which is which, but We'll find out in a second. We'll do the continuity test here. And then uh, for the barrel, you put it inside. And see, heard that squeaky sound? There, that means we have continuity. So I tested all these connections, and you can uh, hopefully take my word for it that they all worked fine. But we'll do a audio test here in a second. But what was interesting was, I don't solder very often, and I don't know if you're gonna see this, let's see. I melted the crap out of the bottom here. Oops. In fact, I thought it wasn't going to work anymore, but it did. And um, uh, you can kind of see, I really melted it, so yeah, I, I don't have the secret to soldering down yet. So that was kind of interesting how everything was melting down, but I kind of put some solder on these wires, tinned them and then I uh, heat it up and let attach the existing solder so they're probably not very good solders but they do work so let's go do an audio test here on my iPhone here first we'll do it with regular just the headphones and let me pick a song so we'll do a song and I'll turn up the volume so you can hear Pick a very good song. Let me pick one. Okay. So you can. This is just the regular volume. Now we'll hook this up with the extension. And it will still work. So I plug that into there. And I'm going to plug this into the iPhone. Wait, wait a minute here. I, no, I got that right. I'm going to carefully plug this into and then play this and so it's about the same volume so that means my connections were better than what it uh, originally came with but um, obviously I have hookup cables here this isn't a very long-term solution but it's fun to take the cable apart and see that the, uh, the jacks did work properly, it was just the connections of the cable that were um, poor. So I recommend if you have a junky cable you don't like, um, use your, uh, I use the, these the and a cutter. What did I use? I don't have it here with me, but I just cut the, the black stuff. You can see it in shards here. It took a while, it took probably half an hour to not uh, rip the cable up too bad. But it was a fun experiment, so uh, hope you enjoyed watching this.